Right now, Volkswagen is revealing the concept car of the Volkswagen ID Cross. And I'm actually there, but I'm filming this beforehand because the embargo on this material about this car has, is lifted exactly when I'm there. So you cannot see what I'm seeing there. You can just see pictures and videos that Volkswagen gave me so far. If you want to see the video when I'm there and looking at the concept car, subscribe to my third channel behind the battery. This video is brought to you by a better route planner, the route planner for EVs. Hundreds of cars are supported, choose your configuration, plan your route with the charging network that you want to prefer or charging networks that you want to avoid. If you're a premium member, you can use real-time weather forecast and traffic information and you can also use a better route planner in your car with Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Use the link in the description to support the channel and use a better route planner premium for 30 days for free. Yeah, this is a trend that, uh, that small cars but also SUVs are going on the market and of course it has to be an EV version. Uh, BYD did this already with the Atto 2 I think was the name. I was even there. <laughs> so a smaller car, not gigantic battery. Um, but still an SUV for the city with not gigantic range, but still here. Let's go through the data of this car. We have front wheel drive as the normal IT, ID uh, Polo, former, formerly known as ID2. 155 kilowatt though, that's 200, what is it? 211 horsepower size wise i have compared the id cross the measurements that volkswagen gave us with the id polo and the id3 and when it comes to length it's in between the polo and the id3 but the cross is taller a few centimeters than even the id3 and also wider a few centimeters and it's of course bigger uh, in all dimensions, but just a tiny bit than the ID Polo, so it's a real SUV. When we look in the interior, that looks very, very interesting, and also a, a few new things in there. We get two uh, wireless charging for your phone, and there's a relax function or calm down function. When you put your phone on a special spot and you turn it around, the car will minimize uh, the display that you don't see so much information that it's all a bit calmer and not so much distraction. Something that's very interesting a lot of people wanted for the ID3 is that you now can tow up to 1200 kilos and you can put 75 kilograms on the tow hook so if you are transporting e-bikes and stuff like this. The trunk can fit 450 liters. I think that's a bit smaller than in the ID3. I think there was 495, something like this. And we have a frunk, 25 liters, a frunk. I didn't even know if the ID Polo has a frunk. I don't think so. I think there's space in the ID Polo on the rear seats. You can fold up the, the so the bottom part of the seat and then put something in and because it's front wheel drive the the trunk goes extremely deep so you can put a lot of stuff in but i don't think there's a frunk and here in this uh, id cross we have a 25 liter frunk is this the first volkswagen that has a frunk from the factory i think so as you've heard in my last video, the ID Polo um, will be, who has its world premiere, where it really is in its final form in May of 2026. And in the fall, it will come to the customers. Um, the ID GTI will follow, follow very closely. And the world premiere of this ID Cross here will also be in 2026 in the summer. And then it will come to the market. Uh, so to customers, not very long. And then 2026. 27 is the fourth uh, car of this lineup of this small MEB plus platform cars with front wheel drive. It will be the ID everyone. Um, looks like, uh, no, the other one, ID, no, it's, I was right. Um, and most likely will be renamed. So I'm guessing the ID up something like this. If ID Polo was now the ID two, uh, most likely this will happen. 
Also interesting on these pictures is that you can uh, fold the front seats as well and then you have a very very flat surface for the whole car. That's really cool. Um, interior space will be great, typical electric cars. That's just how it is. Um, and this interior looks good. There's a lot of uh, nice things in there that look amazing. So uh, I can't wait to look at this car a bit in more detail. I don't know if we, when we are at this event, if we can look inside of its just exterior. Um, we'll see, I hope so. I just see the, the space for on the rear seats as the ID Polo. This car has it as well. The infotainment system is a 13 inch screen and in front of you is not the tiny one that we know from ID3, 4 and so on. It's an 11 inch screen in front of you, but it looks a bit, you know, near. The ID light that we know from the other ID cars and it started with the ID3 is expanded. If you have ever been in a Q, uh, Audi Q6 or an A6, the, the smart light that they have goes from the door over the whole front window and then to the next door a bit, not the whole door. And it will be uh, like this in this ID cross as well, not like in the ID3 and so on, just uh, be uh, beneath the front windshield. It will also be a bit in the doors, but very cool um, Again, check out my third YouTube channel behind the battery link is in the description below Where you can see the car then when I'm there and filming it will be very exciting I'm also gonna meet uh, Chris Riva tomorrow in Munich and have a little chat If you want to follow me on Instagram battery life one and if you want to support the channel There's a patreon link in the description below and here on YouTube. There's also channel membership but that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.